just a quick video here. Uh, as you can see, God Mode, not actually trying to fight this horde. I've set the game today 700, game stage is like 14,000 something. This is the sort of test I was doing for the community base. It's a two stage fall. All the way up here from plus 54, I think. 45 drop onto a ledge. Another 45 drop down here. Got an 11 by 11 central cage with uh, five turrets on each side. Uh, I do have a auto turret all the way up on the top for birds, and it's going off up there, so I'm glad I did, because who knows what's triggering it. But this test was to see what we could do about the falls making turrets not work. And this is a large enough fall that there is a chunk boundary in every direction that they have to cross to get down here. And I think that is the nature of the problem. And you can hear... Oh, that's an auto again, but... See, the turrets here definitely work. Uh, there is a bit of a delay for it to recognize that there's a new target, but it's quite effective. Uh, I do have fences over the cardinal directions, not the corners. Uh, you can see with these large falls stuff actually uh, is calculated and dies. See, like he died from the impact 10-15 blocks up in the air. It's kind of funny how that works. Have, uh, the corners are rotated plates so that they don't see it as a valid path. But let you just walk right through as a player. See what I mean about the delay? They're basically ignoring this cop for some reason. They're pretty close to death from the double fall damage. As you can see, you know, a lot of them you can just melee down, a couple of crossbow shots. I do have the like, evac corners here, same thing, rotated plates. They can't come through them. They will, of course, attack them. But... Also, this is all sawed down here so that the explosion damage, you know, basically isn't any. Like that cop just popped right here, no damage on the ground. This is just sort of an arena. Run around, be dumb, shoot the ground to hit groups of them. Harry, come back into the middle. Turrets will get you out of it. Of course, this is max game stage, so Harry is the uh, name of the game, really. And you can see, uh, even though that wasn't the de design, it does collect quite a few bodies. There's still a significant amount of loot at the end of a horde night. And all those turrets are rocking. Like I said, I have God mode on, so this isn't really about fighting them. It's just seeing if the turrets and falls work. And there's one problem. If you keep the cops out here on the edges, they are pretty prone uh, to popping if you're not concentrating fire on them. But if you bring them in, that's it. the turrets will get the job done. As the bodies start to pile up on the ledge up there, you start getting more and more 
these guys, because they do take less damage when they land on a body. And of course, this is where you lose just a ton of loot. This is not a design I would do if loot was the goal anyway. And some of them, like that guy, I have no idea. He just stood out there, threw up a couple of times, and then decided to give up. Exploded himself. It's kind of obnoxious. He seems to have gotten himself stuck in there. Okay, there's another one. And that's the regular cops. That uh, seems like they're being put over uh, the damage threshold. Like, it would be enough to kill them if there weren't bodies, and the body is making him take just enough reduced damage that he survives, comes down here, takes a shot or two, and then blows up. Let's see. Like, there's another one. That's mostly a regular cop problem. And the crossbow is going right through him. It's pretty cool. Yeah, let's see this problem. And this design ended up being unintentionally larger than I want. Ooh, look at all those cops. And I think this design being a little bit smaller, the gap between the walls and the cage, uh, would help with this. I mean, the goal of the turfs facing in, like these are, was to make it so you could run around out there yourself, uh, maybe save a little ammo. But the problem is, like I said, is as the night progresses, you get a bunch of corpses stacked up. The normal cops start surviving the fall and then exploding out there before the turrets shoot them. So I think that would be handled better differently. You know, either get them in quicker or just have it so that they immediately land in range of the turrets. As far as luring, luring them down, you can see it works pretty well. Probably into the third wave now, we're getting so many irradiated. You can see even five turrets is struggling to bring these down quick enough. There's just so many, and they regenerate so much health. See, like that regular cop fell dead. Wonder if we've run out of ammo. I only put 250 in each, and. Well, there's 900 zombies in the first three waves of the final game stage board. It sounds like we're going again. They're just all on cooldown. And I don't know... See, this is kind of the problem we're talking about here. I got all these turrets here. They're definitely powered and all that. Oh, I think that just came down. Yeah. But they're not shooting on their own. see basically if you build a design that can kill everything except the cops this is what you end up with 
There's about a million cops out here. It's also the only time we get any lag is when all the cops are stacked up here. down a fair number of them, but the amount of damage I mean, to deal with this sort of repair and reload every seven days would be pretty ridiculous. And it's really all the cops. I mean, if you take the cops out of the equation, the shotguns take everything else down just fine. You know, fall damage kills all the tier ones. Cops are just a ridiculous bullet sponge. And then, you know, insult to injury, them doing a large AoE high damage explosion if you can't concentrate enough fire on them when they're dropping in on your head six, seven at a time. So we're in the last wave. It's 1 a.m. So despite being terribly expensive, we could probably clear this horde with this design. It's just, is it, is it really worth it?
why some of them certainly take longer than others to register. Zombies night. There you go. 1.49 a.m. IS game stage horde is cleared. Uh, pretty extensive damage. Let's uh, jump out here. Uh, it's a lot of bodies, even though this is kind of a bad design for collecting loot. <laughs> See, all that wall damage is from my awesome shooting here see again up here pretty significant amount of bodies collected even though that isn't necessarily the goal or whatever and see up here it's kind of curious that means this turret was getting a little creative with its targeting here And like I said, damage along this side, especially where they were focused, is pretty bad. Um, mostly cops. Uh, despite the crazy sound of it all, and of course I lost this one because I was standing on it getting shot. Um, I loaded all these with 250 each. Looks like. But you can also see what I'm talking about as far as ammo usage. Uh, this guy shares this corner a little, a little, and you know, 190, and then 100, and then 40. I mean, this shotgun turret used 40 ammo during all of that. This one used 30. This one used 20. And all these look like they really only fired at the stuff I dragged manually over. Captain sides. Yeah, see like 246. That one did not shoot all night long. So we figure maybe a thousand or fifteen hundred shotgun ammo. That's actually pretty good for a max game stage horde and clearing it. So I don't know, I'm torn. It seems like a lot of damage, a lot of maintenance, uh Certainly a lot of manual work. I mean, I used, you know, almost 200 explosive crossbow bolts just trying to crowd control, but for no repairs, we got nothing lower than reinforced. You know, all the walls just collateral damage. Can pretty much ignore it for dozens of hordes in a row, I'm sure. Uh, lost no terrain, because like I said, the reason I've used sod here is it, the amusion or immunity to explosions. What you do see is stuff like this. That is a turret. You got little onesies and twosies. Eventually, 
this stuff will have to be repaired. See, like there's some that's down 20, but it's just dirt. So that's, you know, really easy. Basically every five or six hordes or something, just run laps, pointing at the ground with a nail gun and fix that up, no problem. So, I don't know. Uh, I guess uh, let me know what you think, if you got any ideas. Uh, again, as far as the designs, it's just bars with five turrets per side, three out, and they're actually facing back in. They're aimed straight down. Uh, the original design I was going to do would have been uh, too smaller in this dimension, which would have brought everything in a little bit. And it makes me wonder if instead of facing them inwards to save ammo, I should just move them in so that they're, you know, almost on top of the wall, pointed out, or maybe push them, you know, another spot out. I don't know, just some uh, theory crafting. And of course, building this thing is a nightmare. Just that first drop is like 109,000 blocks or something to dig out, and then there's the second one. You can see even uh, playing with creative, you know, just giving myself materials I haven't filled in the walls all the way just because it's such a time sink. But, you know, theory crafting, it's good stuff.